Hello, okay, so today I'm just going to show you how you can match your clips to have the same color grade as your favorite films. So first you want to make sure that you have your clips and a still or a clip from the film that you want to copy the look of. Drag them into a timeline and then head over to the color tab. Okay, so when you're in the color tab, first thing, make sure that you have a node here. If you don't, you can just press Alt S then with the clip highlighter that you want to change the color grade on, right click on the still that you want to steal the color grade from and click on shot match to this clip. And there you go, it's as easy as that. Now obviously this is stock footage so it's not the highest of quality but you get the idea. On to the next one. So this guy is shoveling snow and I want to copy the look from the TV show Ozark. So make a new node, right click on the Ozark still and shot match to this clip. And that is terrible. So sometimes it'll give you too strong of a filter over the top of your footage. So what you want to do then is come over here to the key and where it says key output, you can just play around with the gain and then you can decide how strong you want this color grade to be. I'm gonna go for around there. And on this one, it's still not matching perfectly for me so I would add a little bit of saturation, some more contrast, pump it up in the middle a little bit, and a little bit more blue, and there you go. Again, this is just stock footage, so it will work better when you have your own high quality footage. Last one, just to give you one more example, this dude drinking tea in the middle of the desert, Let's right click on the Blade Runner still, shot match to this clip, and again, pretty terrible because the footage is low quality, so I'll just key the output a little bit less. But as you can see, you still get the idea before, after. So this is a very good starting point when you're grading your footage. But for me, I use this a lot, but I do it like I did in this shot, where I tone down the clip quite a lot and then play with it more myself afterwards to get a more unique and desired look rather than just copying straight out of the bat. But you shouldn't feel bad for doing stuff like this because why make yourself do extra hours worth of work when you can do it an easier way and make more money by doing more videos? I didn't record any of that, did I? I did, thank 